2025 is shaping up to be a historic year for Bitcoin miners. Since January, Bitcoin mining difficulty has increased by just 16%, and this is on pace to be the slowest year for mining difficulty growth in Bitcoin's history. As you can see by this bar chart, mining difficulty has historically increased by hundreds or thousands of percent in a single year. However, this growth rate has dropped drastically over the past few years, and especially so in 2025. When mining difficulty grows at a slow rate, slower than the Bitcoin price itself increases, this means Bitcoin miners are becoming more profitable. Because while an increase in difficulty means they mine less Bitcoin on a daily basis, when the value of the Bitcoin that they are mining increases at a faster rate, this means that they end up keeping more Bitcoin than they otherwise would. Because Bitcoin miners' primary operating expense is electricity, which is fixed in dollar terms, they end up selling less of their Bitcoin that they mine and end up keeping more. When we look at this chart here, we see the effect that this has on Bitcoin miners. The black line in this chart represents the Bitcoin price, and each of the multicolored lines represents the cost to mine Bitcoin using various machines at an electricity rate of 7.8 cent per kilowatt hour, which is accessible when using a hosting provider such as Blockware. As you can see, the most efficient miner in the industry, the S21 XP, mines one Bitcoin for less than $50,000 in electricity. So while people dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin are purchasing at a price of nearly 120,000, miners are buying Bitcoin every single day for less than 50,000. And this spread increases as the Bitcoin price increases faster than mining difficulty. Now, there are three primary reasons that the growth rate in mining difficulty is slowing down. First is mining hardware is reaching the limit of Moore's law. Each new generation of mining hardware is only marginally more efficient than its predecessor. Early on in Bitcoin mining, research and development made leaps and bounds in very short periods of time. New machines would make previous models obsolete overnight. However, the marginal efficiency gains for new mining hardware has diminished greatly. For example, the S21 XP is only 10% more energy efficient than the S21 Pro. This leads us into our next reason for the slowdown in mining difficulty growth, which is that physical energy and mining infrastructure is now the primary bottleneck for growth in mining difficulty. Because new machines are not wildly more efficient, the only way for mining difficulty to increase at the same proportional rate is to build new data centers. And this cannot happen overnight. Historically, you could unplug the old machines and plug the new machines in and see a wild jump in mining difficulty. However, that's not the case anymore. And so for the same difficulty growth to happen, you have to, you have to physically build new data centers and produce more energy. The third reason for the slowdown in mining difficulty growth is that data center operators now have an alternative option for their excess energy, high performance computing and artificial intelligence. A data center with a surplus of power has three main options to monetize that. They can sell that energy back to the grid, usually for pennies on the dollar. They can host Bitcoin miners or they can host artificial intelligence servers. Both of the latter options can be highly profitable but data centers are not in the business of maximizing their Bitcoin returns. They're in the business of maintaining positive, steady cash flow and minimizing volatility. Data centers and energy producers want to maintain predictability in their income, and Bitcoin mining can be highly volatile, as we all know. Thus, they are diversifying their compute stack to not only mine Bitcoin, but to also run high-performance computing and AI. All of this is shaping up to create an incredibly bullish landscape for existing Bitcoin miners. They're able to keep more of the Bitcoin that they mine, which is becoming increasingly valuable as Bitcoin gets adopted by Wall Street and is becoming integrated in every portfolio across the world. Over the past three years, Bitcoin is up more than 500%. Meanwhile, the growth in mining difficulty continues to slow down. Bitcoin miners are producing Bitcoin every single day at a discount to the market price, which continues to rise. Blockware makes Bitcoin mining accessible to everyone. Rather than deploying the time and capital necessary to build your own site, you can get a miner and plug it in at one of ours. 
We have some of the lowest and most competitive electricity rates in the world, and we offer a marketplace where you can buy and sell machines turnkey. Moreover, not only do you get to produce Bitcoin at a discount to the market price, but you get incredible tax benefits that you couldn't get if you were just buying Bitcoin directly. New guidelines under the big beautiful bill allow for 100% depreciation of mining hardware in a single tax year. So if you purchase $100,000 worth of mining hardware, you could write off $100,000 worth of W2 income, small business income, or even potentially capital gains. To learn more, go to mining.blockwaresolutions.com slash consult. Schedule a free consultation with a member of the Blockware team, and we can answer all of your questions and help figure out if Bitcoin mining makes sense for you. Again, that is mining.blockwaresolutions.com slash consult.